And then you pick it up and you put it down. And where you put it down is an extraordinarily interesting thing. You know, where are you going to put it down? Are you going to put it near something else or by itself? Are you going to reify it by giving it this glorious space all by itself? Or are you going to put it amongst its peers and say, do you know what? You thought this was unique, but there are a hundred of them here. So what are the energies, fields, you are going to create around the object? And what an incredible thing that is to do in the world, which is to put one thing down and then see what the energy is around it. And that's mm. what I try and do in my own practice. We could as actually well as come to, to your project you did this year in, yeah. well, in Vienna. Do we, have, do we have time? Do we have, yeah. Okay. We started 10 minutes later, so... Okay. Well, I, 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 I was given a temple, which is a pretty cool thing to be given. Um, so this is um, um, uh, the Tasius Temple um, on the Ringstrasse. Um, and and uh, you can see Vienna behind it uh, and Vienna in front of it. And, and this temple was created for this incredible piece of art. Mm. This is uh, a sculpture made by Antonio Canova in the beginning of the 19th century, commissioned actually by Napoleon. Uh, and it was not finished until Napoleon uh, had to go to Elba. And it remained in the, in the artist's uh, studio until 18 and 19, and was bought then by Emperor Francis I of Austria. And the whole temple was built just to house this one single sculpture. And the interesting thing about it is that, of course, Napoleon and Francis I were enemies. And the place where the temple was built was where the uh, Bastai stood, stood in Vienna, which was destroyed by the Napoleonic troops. And so that's something which some, some history in already inside the temple. And uh, Edmund did and, something and, with, and then, with... And then, no, you have, it's too short, because then it moves. Okay, then uh, Canova is moved across the Ringstrasse, very badly, I have to say, by some terrible Viennese workmen who knock a limb off or something like that. Yeah. But in when? Nine, when they opened the museum? In, in 1890. The museum was yeah. opened one year later, and it was, today it stands in the staircase, actually, of, yeah. in the museum staircase. So you go up and you meet Canova, which is alarming. And then, um, and then, so this being Vienna, then this, there's an empty temple which belongs to some department of the city council who doesn't talk to anyone else. And then, <laughs> <laughs> for a hundred years, um, and then, um, Jas is it Jasper? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Jasper Sharp uh, says, can I have the temple, please, um, to show one piece of art contemporary art a year. And what we'll do is we'll open the door. This is the wonderful park. So you've got grannies going past with their grandchildren and ice creams, and you've got drunks with their bottles of beer, and you've got people doing Tai Chi, and it's a good Vienna park. And that just for a season, there will be, each year, there will be a piece of art. And I can't remember the list. I mean, I think I was the third? Jas is Jasper Sharp in the building? I was the third. <laughs> I took over from the wonderful, glorious Richard Wright, who had done a beautiful, um, and when I was asked to, to, to do something here, I thought, what, okay, what can I do um, on the Ringstrasse? So I, I, I put in um, a piece, uh, two vitrines. They're very big, um, um, with porcelain in them. It's a book, it's, it's also a poem. It's, it's called Lichtzwang which comes from an incredibly, incredibly beautiful and painful poem by uh, Paul Celan, the great, the great German writing poet, uh, German po poet um, of, 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 of silence, post-war post Germany, um, uh, uh, which means the compression of light, means the sort of impossibility of light, because this is a, a, a space which has only daylight. The doors are open, you can walk past if you don't want to look at porcelain and you just want to take your dog for a walk. You can go in and there's the poem written on the wall. You can sit on the floor or not. You can be for a minute, you can go back. Uh, and so it's just a poem and, 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 and two vitrines and the light changes um, 
all the time, and, um, and you can't see it anymore because it closed yesterday. Um, actually. Um, but, um, but it was the thing about what do you put in a place, place it, how do you look at a place, what do you think about it? About, um, uh, um, about is it only place or is it also room as uh, well it's room it's room vitrine it's 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 territory it's earth it's space mm. and in this place which was a very very uh, complex textured bit of history for me um, and a, a place which has already lost a piece of art to put something back um, which was um, really just some phrases of poetry, uh, haunting phrases of poetry, and put them into light was, was my attempt at, at uh, bringing something in, into focus. And that, I guess, is sort of what I'm hoping to do, if I'm allowed, <laughs> with the collections. You are. Of the Kunst, <laughs> the Star Ashes. So, so thank you. I, I think should. We no one will want to ask us questions, no, so we're absolutely I don't think fine. So. We're absolutely <laughs> <laughs> but thank you.